You might think that the fastest terminal on Hyperline is most likely something like Kitty or Alacrity or Westerm or any one of the other 50 different terminals out there. And guess what? You would be right. Except not in the way that you'd think. That's because the star of today's video, the fastest terminal possible on Hyperland, after testing the most popular ones in my journey of over three years of racing, this fantastic compositor is... Drumroll, please. Foot. That's right, my foot. My beloved foot. No, not literally my foot, but then foot, I mean the Foo Terminal. You get it? Foo Terminal? Yes, that is literally what the developer of this terminal decided to name it. Fun stuff, I know. Now that all the half-hearted viewers with zero attention span left as soon as I said the fastest terminal is my foot, let's get on to why that's actually the case. Now, before I explain in words, it's better to show you a live comparison of launch latency between kitty and foot. So right now, if I open this terminal over here, it's going to be kitty, okay? Now, I will open three different kitty terminals in quick succession by pressing my mod key and enter, and just note how quickly it spawns, okay? Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, that's for kitty. Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with foot. Now, on camera, it might be a little bit difficult to notice, but try paying attention nonetheless, okay? Just watch. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Not sure if you caught that on camera, but anyway, as I was pressing the buttons on my keyboard, I could immediately tell that the latency when it came to foot was just much, much lesser. In fact, if I just show it to you in the same workspace, consider this, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Like, I'm pressing with the exact same speed, nothing is changing whatsoever, but then foot is just that much faster because of a bunch of reasons that I'm going to mention to you in just a second. And also, just to make it a bit easier to distinguish between the two terminals, because their font rendering, although it's actually very similar, they're a bit different. So what I've done is actually change the cursor color to be white inside of foot and to be this blue cyan thing inside of kitty, so that you can actually tell the difference. Now, as you can see, as I just showed you, foot is miles ahead even without using it in client server mode, which is something that you can do, okay? You can run a foot daemon which is going to keep running in the background and you can also run foot in client mode which is going to access that server and basically open much much faster now as for the reasons as to why foot is really fast compared to a terminal like kitty or alacrity well first of all it's written in c right c being a pretty low level language means that you can get pretty close to the hardware and you can mess around with all sorts of fun stuff that you would not be able to do with higher level languages that's one thing second thing is in, because it's not on any X environment, because we're on Hyperland and because it's a Wayland environment, it, com it communicates directly with Hyperland, with the compositor, instead of bypassing an X server. That's something that Kitty does too, of course, it, com it directly communicates with the compositor, but nonetheless, it's still worth mentioning. Now, this is the main difference when you compare foot to other GPU accelerated terminals like Kitty or Alacrity. And if you just noticed, I gave you a hint there. It's because foot actually is cpu accelerated which means that it has lower ram usage and much much lesser input latency as i just showed you okay now if you want me to show you again i'm going to mash the enter key as fast as i can just take notice okay that's it okay now as for foot yeah it's much much faster pretty sure you're not able to tell but in case you are i truly commend you because they need some freaking shutting gun eyes to be able to tell the difference between these things. But nonetheless, it's very, very noticeable. And I actually encourage you to try it out yourself. Now, those were three reasons as to why foot is really fast. Okay, there's still two more. Okay, the fourth one being that foot has client server architecture. Now, this, whatever I just showed you, this foot terminal is not actually running in client server mode. If you want, I can show you why exactly that is. So if I go to hyper modules, Lines.conf. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what this modules folder is about, it's basically taking one file and then splitting it into multiple different files in order to make maintenance of the config files much easier. And so that you can go into any particular config file and then get what you need and then back out without, instead of looking for a needle in a haystack inside of one big config file. And if you want to learn more about this modularity stuff, as I call it, along with learning how to make a custom theme switcher like this one, but all you have to do is just choose a theme from a list of different themes and then watch your entire system adapt to that particular theme. As you can see over here, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator. It's a program 
where I have compiled all of my knowledge of over three years of Rising Hyperland into here so that you can learn how to make setups like these yourself without depending on others. So if you want this, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out the program. Now, let's open this keybinds config file and inside of here, okay, let me show you the part where I am invoking foot. So right now, can mod shift return is just going to execute foot, but then if I change this to foot client and if I run foot in daemon mode, okay, let's see if it's, okay, now it's not going to work because foot isn't currently running in daemon mode, but if I ask it to, hold on, it should be, yep, foot-s. Foot-s is going to open in server mode. And now if I press mod shift enter, yeah, it's much, much faster. This is even faster than foot on its own. Okay, two times in succession. Now do the same thing for foot. Yeah, the terminals are practically there instantly. And now as soon as the second one, as soon as the first one even finished, by the time actually, god damn it, this first one even finished its animation, the second one had already opened, and that's how fast foot can really be if ran in client server mode. There's a reason why I didn't use this by default, and that has something to do with the theme switcher, which I will explain in just a second. But as you can see, this is why foot is extremely fast as well, because of client server architecture. Now, the last reason being, it's just written with simplicity and minimal features in mind. When you have that sort of philosophy, that sort of suckless philosophy, if you will, just try and keep things as minimal as possible, do only one thing, you end up with apps and programs that really tend to be pretty lightweight and do their job very well and very quickly. So those are the reasons why foot is really fast. Now, as for setting up a config that actually makes foot look good, now by default, it's by no means the prettiest terminal on the planet, okay? The prettiest, in my opinion, would actually have to go to something like Kitty because of its exceptional font rendering. Now I can show you that as an example right here. I can type in the word exceptional just to show you a comparison between what it's supposed to look like. And because of the color, you're not going to be able to tell. But if I zoom in here, type something like who. And here too, if I zoom in a lot more and type who. Yeah, it's basically not noticeable at all. But then Kitty has a much softer font rendering as compared to foot, and it's also a bit more anti-aliased. So the edges don't actually look that sharp. They look kind of like they would on macOS, which is something that I personally prefer. If you like that, you're going to have to test it out for yourself and see whether you're actually able to tell the difference. Now, as for the foot config, let me show you what that's supposed to look like. Okay, now, Normally, you're not going to have this colors part. We'll deal with that later. That's for the custom theme switcher. But the part we're going to be focusing on is foot.ini. Now, inside of foot.ini, this is basically the entire foot config file copied from somewhere like Etsy XTG foot. Okay. But basically, wherever you get it from, you can just look up the path for it online. These are the main things that you're supposed to change. There's only a couple of things that have been changed, and I will walk you through them so that you can make foot look as pretty as this as well, because by default, there's no padding and none of that stuff. Okay, so first thing we're including is this colors file, which is basically having to do with the theme switcher. This also works for, again, switching themes. But the only thing is, because foot was designed with such minimalism and simplicity in mind, it does not have functionality for live reloading, unlike Kitty over here. So anytime I want to switch the themes, like for example, I wanted to switch from Everforest to Capuchin, okay? It's going to update for Kitty because that supports live theme reloading, but then not so for foot. I'm going to have to close and reopen the terminal in order for me to get it back. And there's no way to actually implement theme reloading by a script or by refreshing something because the functionality is just not even there. And if I, even if I wanted to close and reopen the terminal, I'm still going to lose whatever data was inside previously. So perhaps that's something that you might want to look out for yourself if you were thinking of making something like this. You're just going to have to accept the trade-offs when it comes to speed over convenience and aesthetics. Something that you'll have to choose for yourself, eh? So that's for the include line. Next thing is just going to be the font. I've picked Geist Mono Nerd font, size 13. This is the font and size that works perfectly fine. You can also use something like JetBrains Mono. Now, here is where things get interesting, the padding line. So padding is 40 by 40. So right now it's in pixels. So 40 pixels of padding on the left and 40 from the top so that you get the indented prompt look. And after that, it's honestly that pretty much it. There's nothing else over here. As for the themes, of course, that's going to be inside config foot colors. 
and inside here it's in colors so this is actually a file it's supposed to be an ini file but there's no extension so that's fine this file is including colors custom horizon which is in turn another ini file that has the colors required for the terminal as you can see horizon dark these are the colors that the terminal is going to use which is indeed what you see over here now that is what we can do to make the terminal look pretty and as I just mentioned earlier, if you want to learn more about fast terminals like these, how to optimize your setup, how to get custom theme switchers like this, and how to make wallpaper switchers, this one I hadn't showed you before, but yeah, wallpaper switchers and more, and basically just download my brain over three years of rising Hyperland, you can go ahead and click the first link in the description to check out Hyper Accelerator. I don't just teach you to click a bunch of buttons and then get the job done and leave you stranded on your own. I also teach you the principles, which is why the program is so long in the first place. So if you like the way that I teach and you want to not lick other dot .files maintainers boots for help when stuff inevitably breaks with their setup that you copied, if you want to build your own setup you're proud of showing to your friends and colleagues, go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator. It'll save you two years of trial and error with nothing to show for it, I can guarantee you that. Now, as for configuring client server mode, that's actually pretty simple and we just did it earlier. If you want to get to know how, that, how to do that, it's actually pretty simple. You just have to type foot-s to run it in server mode first of all. Okay, once you do that, you're going to get this thing over here. And the next thing you're supposed to do is configure a keybind that opens the foot client. That's all. So foot client, and now if I open, there you go, lightning fast. Yup, that's it. Now, the only reason I don't use foot client is because you're going to have to kill the demon and restart it every single time you're changing themes. So if you can find a way around that, then honestly, foot client has to be the fastest terminal by far. There is no terminal faster than foot client. Honestly, just take a look at this. It's, it's bliss. It really feels like URXVT and BSPWM back in the good old days. That's how fast this thing is. And if you've used those two in conjunction, you will know that they were the fastest of all time back in the X days. But anyway, that is how you can get such performance over here again. Now we'll keep, we'll keep this to be foot for now so that the theme switching works. And to set this up to auto start, you're going to have to go inside of your auto start config file or basically your main hyperland config file if you don't have that and mine's an auto start and in here i've already added all the auto start different functionality here and all you have to do is just add one for foot all that terminal so i don't get confused <laughs> okay and in here all i should do is type exec once exec once foot dash s so every single time i log into the computer it's going to launch the foot terminal and it's going to keep the daemon uh, or server running in the background, which means I can open the terminal like so and have it work. Now, if you want to do that without having to log out and log back in, you can just disown the process, okay, so that, you, so that it launches and stays in the background without dying. Foot dash s ampersand disown. So what that's going to do is launch the daemon or the server and it's going to exit, but not quite in the way that you'd expect, right? By exiting, I mean it's going to detach itself from this terminal process, so even if I close this terminal, it's not going to die out. That's a benefit of forking to the background. Now, if I show you how that actually works, normally the process would die out, right? But with foot client like so, it does not die out at whatsoever. As you can see, it's still faster than ever before. And that's pretty much it. That is how you can configure foot to be this fast, and that is why foot is the fastest terminal on this planet for Hyperland right now. If you want to learn how to make a setup like this, go ahead, click the first link and check out Hyper Accelerator. It's all yours. And that's it. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising. Mwah.